Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us. I was remembering a time a few years ago when we went on a hike with friends and we got to the top of a mountain and there was this beautiful, almost panoramic view of the town and the mountains and we were able to see so much more than we could see from ground level. It was just a spectacular view. I want to talk to us a little bit this morning about our position in Christ. Ephesians 2, 6. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. The Amplified Bible says he raised us up together with him and made us sit down together, giving us joint seating with him in the heavenly sphere. Sometimes we can forget our position in Christ and we can become more earthly minded than heavenly minded. Our focus becomes primarily on what we see in the natural rather than from heaven's perspective. Colossians 3, 1 to 2 says, If then you have been raised with Christ, aim at and seek the rich eternal treasures that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God, and set your minds and keep them set on what is above, not on the things that are on the earth. No matter what circumstances are happening, our position remains one of being seated with Christ. We have a seat next to Jesus. And it's from this place that he offers us a different perspective, a higher view than what is currently obvious. Of course, as we've said before, we are not ignoring the facts of whatever our situation may be. But I do believe more than ever, there is a call to the church to pray from heaven's perspective. Gareth Elkin in his book, Prayers from the Throne of God, says this, God is encouraging the church to experience a shift in how we see ourselves in prayer. He's asking many of us to reposition our prayer altars from the place of our earthly struggle to the place of our heavenly victory. He is calling the church to fully realize our position in Christ. So no matter what we are seeing or experiencing, and those things are very real, it still does not change our position in Christ. But too often we live and pray from a defeatist mentality. We hope God will come through. We have a mindset of what will be, will be, or whatever happens must be God's will. Instead, we are called to take up our position in Christ and to declare his truth, to hear from heaven and declare what he's saying to us. There's an invitation, I believe, and a reminder again to step into the authority that he's given us to hear and declare from heaven's perspective. Jeremiah 31 9 says, hear the word of the Lord and declare it. We are not just to hear negative reports and declare those. We are his bride and we are the only ones who can hear his voice and declare what he is saying. We have a unique position to do that. I believe the Lord is repositioning us or better still reminding us again of our victorious position in Christ so that what we are praying and how we pray over our circumstances is coming from a place of faith and coming from heaven's perspective. The word tells us to rejoice always, to pray continually, giving thanks in all circumstances. And for me personally, I can only do this with a victorious mindset. Because when I have a victorious mindset, I'm able to give thanks even when my circumstances are not great. Colossians 4.2 tells us to devote ourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Again, we are called to be watchful, to see what he sees. So we come to him in faith, believing that he will answer us. And again, I can only do this from a place of victory, because the defeatist mindset does not come in faith, but rather unbelief. And James tells us that when we come like this, we like the wave of the sea being blown and tossed by the wind. In Romans 4:19, speaking of Abraham, it says, without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead. And since he was about a hundred years old, and that Sarah's room was also dead, yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, fully persuaded that God had the power to do what he had promised. I believe that there is an urgency for the church to get back into position, to take her rightful place and hear from heaven and speak truth above anything else that we say. In closing, let me just remind you that you are his beloved and you are always seated 
in heavenly places next to Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great day.